Hi, my name is Dale Brown. <laughs> what were we gonna do? <laughs> Hi, my name is Dale Brown. Uh, I'm a fourth generation horseman. I've been training Arabian, half Arabian horses since 1996 uh, when I started Dale Brown Performance Horses. It's been a wonderful ride and a fun journey. Nothing better than spending every day with a horse. Dale. I got my start. My first horse show was when I was about two weeks old. Uh, it was the Ohio Buckeye uh, in 1976, and I've been going to Arabian, have Arabian horse shows ever since. Um, it's something that my family started doing. My mother and father uh, started in the Arabians uh, in the mid 60s. You know, this is just a it's a great opportunity for personal development, uh, in my opinion. The, the horses being a living, breathing creature just gives you a, another living, breathing creature to work with and to, to gain knowledge, gain respect, and understanding, and empathy, and all the great things that I feel like it's a wonderful thing for children just because they, they can't gain that, that respect with a video game that they can't with a horse. There's, there's just such an opportunity to be able to learn how that horse thinks and how that horse feels and what makes its reaction happen to different stimuli. Um, you know, it's a beautiful thing. We started Jewel starting about a year ago, but due to COVID, we haven't really been able to start full stream yet. Um, we have done a little bit here and there. Um, we use Arabians, miniature horses, and a few other species, including rabbits, chickens, dogs, and cats. Um, I have my animal assisted therapy certification and also a bachelor's in psychology. Um, so that's my background and where we started. And my daughter, who right here is Jewel, um, is autistic with severe anxiety, especially social anxiety. So that's how we kind of started with Jules' journey. My other horse, who is an Arabian, and she's actually pregnant at the current moment. And I actually show her when I am showing. And she is one of the sweetest horses that I trust the most, actually. When it comes to the bigger horses. She has grown and matured. She's very, like I said, socially anxiety, so she does not like to talk much. Um, she went from an eight-year-old little girl, excuse me, <laughs> that had two very serious inpatient states due to suicide attempts and ideation. Um, I finally said, you know what, she loves animals, let's try horseback riding. And I found a local stable from where we're from, originally in New York. And it turns out that the, um, the trainer there was certified in animal assisted therapy. And the improvements that Jewel started making within a month was absolutely incredible. She was not as fearful. She grew socially, although she still suffers from anxiety and depression having the animals around now is a hundred times better for her and her mental health. So when we started um, Jules' journey, it was with her in mind and to let people know that, you know, it through a journey of animal assisted therapy, um, you can grow and you can find your own path. Being a national champion is a is a huge moment. It's uh, it's it's what I'm aiming for with most all horses. But the the thrill of being national champion is is, is second to none. Uh, but it can be just as rewarding to do just simple basic tasks with your horse. Uh, it doesn't have to all be about being a national champion. Every horse has their level, and um, I'm good with accepting them at, at that level. With
Yeah, I think I think.